What is going on guys, here we with another comparison video and today we are going to be checking the Nike Air Jordan 1s by Travis Scott. To begin with, I want to point out a couple things. First, I want to tell you guys that it doesn't really matter what the fake item looks like. There's so many versions of fake items in the market, there's so many fake factories producing these fake shoes. If you're trying to focus on the fake one, it's going to be very confusing because each factory will come up with different details on their fakes. So I want you guys to focus more on the real item because from the real item you can easily compare with the pair you have in hands or you're looking forward to purchase and the second thing i heard a lot of rumors that these shoes are coming with a lot of factory flaws which is making it hard for the checkers to do their job because the retail pairs are coming with a lot of flaws i've heard that from big youtubers complaining that their pairs have this and that errors but this pair that i'm gonna be legit checking right now the real pair i got them from the sneaker app and the fake pair i wouldn't i wouldn't tell you guys where i got them from because i'm not promoting any fakes this video is only for educational purposes to help people who want to get the real item to not get scammed and don't forget that we do free legit checks on instagram in order to get a free legit check you must subscribe to our channel follow us on instagram like our videos our pictures and then DM us and let us know what you got and we're gonna let you take your item for free. So now we're gonna jump into the video and I'm gonna show you what I, got, what I have right here. As you guys can see, I have two labels. I have two boxes already labeled. This one right here is the fake one and this one right here is the real one. I'm gonna zoom a little bit. You can definitely see the color of the boxes. So the real box is a little bit lighter and the fake box is darker that's one of the first thing i've noticed second thing i've noticed from the box is this little detail right here so this box right here is size nine and a half the fake box and the real box is size 11 as you guys can see right here but you guys know that the shoes the the, the shoe boxes always come in different size depending on the shoe size so this being size nine and a half and this being size 11 and a half and this being size 11 you're expecting this box to be bigger than this one so but look at this case right here, in the case we have right here so this is size 11 and this is size nine and a half they both kick off they both got the same size of box which is wrong from the fake ones because the fake box as being nine and a half supposed to be smaller than the box that is size 11. Look that out. If you guys want to know and you get a pair and you want to know, you want to check the box, go ahead and ask somebody who has the real pair to, to measure their box, ask them how many inches their box is. If their box is the same size or is bigger and smaller, you let's say you guys both, you both got the same size of the sneaker and your box is bigger or is smaller than the other person, something is wrong. Pay attention on little details like that. And because these specific fakes that we let you like check in today, they are really hard. I'm being honest with y'all, the fake factory did a really good job with these fakes. But so in some big details that you're expecting to be wrong, they're not actually wrong. Things like the box color and the size are actually what is gonna be one of the biggest red flags in this case. Now we're gonna open the boxes. This is the fake, the fake box. This is the real box. Look at the tissue. I just like you see how the real tissue, it looks so clean and defined comparing to the fake tissue. You might think this is nothing, but actually that is a good that is something to check out. This is the fake tissue, you see? And this is the real tissue. The print on the tissue are exactly the same. We have the the the, the Cactus Jack face right here. The Nike Air logo. We have the Cactus Jack, another logo right here. We have the Air Jordan Wings logo. The same as on the fake one. And then we have the second tissue, which is all white. But we also have it on the the real one right here this one looks more detailed defined clean and this one looks kind of bad quality okay now we're gonna get the sneaker out of the box so
So here you got both of the pairs, again the fake one and the real one. I'm gonna show you guys side by side first. We got this big Nike shoes reverse. We also have them, the real one. Again, this is nine and a half, this is 11. So the size, this, the, the size might look a little bit different because this is smaller than the other one. And then we have the Wings logo right here, the Air Jordan Wings logo. And then in front, we have this white smooth leather as we also have it on the real one the white smooth leather and we have this uh dark brown suede on the back we have these two cactus jack faces we also have it on the real one two cactus jack faces and then at the other side of the shoes we have the normal black nike shoes and don't forget we have these 3m cactus jack logo crossing right here now i'm gonna show you guys what are the details that I found off on the fake pair? First, and one of the most important details that I found that is off is the color. Look at the color of the shoes. The real one is a little bit darker comparing to the fake one. You can see it closely. You see, the color is way different. This one is a little bit lighter comparing to the real pair. Second thing, I look at the gap right here from the Nike shoes to the lace hole right here. Look at the space right here from here to here. And when you look at the real pair, this little gap right here from here to here, the fake one has more centimeters. So the real one is right here. You see the gap from the, from the end of the Nike shoes to this little lace hole right here. The gap is so small comparing to the the fake one so the fake one has more space has more centimeters in here than here i look at the other pair to see if it was like a type of factory flow so this is the other real pair right here this is the other real pair right here see the gap and this is the, the other fake pair you see the gap still big the space the spacing in here is still big another detail that i noticed that is off this one being the fake you, if you guys can see this cactus jack little face you see how it looks on the fake pair and this is how it looks on the real one the real one looks more smooth while the fake one stands more you can see it this is the real one and this is the fake one easy to tell the difference if you really have them in your hands this one like looks this. more uh how would i say this it, yes this one looks more sharp comparing to the uh, the real one see this one looks more sharpy comparing to this one i noticed that on both pairs as well so that's another detail that is off on the fake ones what else that i've seen that is not sitting right and this is gonna be the little gap over here again you see from the stitching here to the tip of the nike shoes we have a very i don't know we have just like a couple very couple centimeters now look at the fake pair you see from the stitching to the nike shoes tip we have more space you see that you see we have less the real one is just so close and the real the fake one it has more space we're going to look at the tongue of the shoes right now we have this Cactus Jack logo over here and then we have this Nike Air logo. This is the fake pair by the way and the real one we have exactly the same thing. But one thing you're gonna notice is that I'm gonna lay them down like this. If you look at the Nike, the Cactus Jack on the fake one, you can see that it's more like it's a little fat comparing to the real one. It's more, it's fat, it's like, a, I don't know how to say, but it's fat on the fake pair comparing than on the real pair and also hard to see it but if you look at the stitching over here it's more like in in front while the stitching on the fake one is a little bit like you see the spacing here the spacing here from the stitching to here we have more little space now we're gonna we're gonna be checking the nike i mean the Jordan the air Jordan logo uh wings logo so here we got the fake air Jordan wing, wings logo if you guys can see it closely this is what the air, the fake one looks like. This is the real one, and this is the fake one. Look at the end, very end of the night of the wing logo. I'm trying to zoom in. 
yes you look at the very end right here you see it leaves this kind of shadow over here the wing look, the wing lock on the real one leaves this little shadow down here also the tm is very detailed on the real on the real ones you see this little shadow i was talking about now you can see it closely this little shadow down here so now i'm gonna show you guys the fake one you see the fake one doesn't have that little shadow you can't see it on the fake one you can see it on the fake ones also the tm doesn't look that good on the picture you guys are gonna be able to see it closely the other thing i was trying to talk about is this little black material on the sub liner right here here you see this right here is again if we was talking the spacing is one of the biggest issues from these fakes you see this this is the fake one you see how it has the now the space is short the gap is the space from the top to the this little piece of material right here the real one has more space you see from here to here this one has it looks a little bit longer than the fake one see that talking about the interior of the sneaker here on this pair we have this cactus jack logo hopefully i can zoom it in yes we have this cactus jack logo and then we have this aztec from the picture i'm gonna post both to show you guys what's the difference and here we have this we have this to air nike logo on the town of the shoes i just like the sound the good thing about the fakes is that they always mess something up that's something that helps us a lot because no matter how good they turn there's always something that is not sitting right so you look at the front stitching on both you can see the stitching how it's more like it deeply is more deep on the fake pair and on the real one is more like till smooth calm like they kind of put a lot of pressure on the material of the and on the fake ones and like i was saying that there's some flaws on some of these pairs from even the real ones is because uh one guy was saying on youtube that the real ones supposed to have a white stitch line inside of the box inside of the pocket and I'm looking at my real one right now, my real pair right now, and I don't see any white stitch line crossing inside of the, the pocket. And then I'm gonna look at the fake one as well if I'm gonna see something like that. And here's the fake one. And nothing, I don't see anything. But really, the only thing I'm seeing from these pockets is that the color is a little bit different. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna take a picture of it and show you guys from the picture because it's hard to to get that detail on the video. But this one is more bright than the real one. The real one seems to be more calm color, but the fake one is more like a kind of bright or something like that. We have this cactus cactus jack logo right here on three in 3m it's hard to see but i'm gonna show you guys some pictures one more thing that i want to show you guys is actually the laces so here we got the fake the real laces you see this is the one of the laces box we have the other laces box right here all of them we got them right here and i'm gonna show you guys the fake laces the plastic of the fake laces looks bigger than the plastic on the real laces I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, the plastic of the fake laces is bigger and this, the real one is more clear and the fake plastic looks more foggy and big. Don't ignore these kind of details because actually on good fakes, one thing that is gonna make, one thing that is gonna make a big difference is those kind of little details that the fake factories think that it, that doesn't really matter. But in the eye of a legit checker, this is one of the really, one of, one of the biggest giveaways you see this is the this is the the dark brown laces you see like in here they, this one looks more clean clear compared to the fake ones and another thing that i almost forgot is going to be this little shape right here you see this little shape right here you see this little black shape 
this is the real one you see how how big it, it, it looks in the real one let me show you on the fake one right now so this is how it looks on the fake one the fake one is like a little bit closer than the real one and then we have this wing right here and again the real one it looks more darker see the real one darker than the fake one other than that guys i think i already covered everything i was able or i could cover from this real versus fake uh, air jordan wants to try this cap if i miss any detail guys please leave a comment down below let me know what i missed yes i think that's everything we could talk about from this specific pair of sneakers good luck out there if you're buying from a third party but don't forget let you take your shoes before even paying that way you can protect yourself make sure you purchase the way you want you know that you covered don't just go and send somebody money through uh venmo or cash app or how they call the other one or zelle don't do that make sure you use paypal make sure you use any secure method that can keep you safe from scammers thank you guys and i'll see you guys next time